Hello my little champions. How are you all? I hope you all are good and enjoying learning session chatro. Yes? Very good. Kids, till now we have learned subtraction, addition, numbers, shapes and patterns. Yes. But today we are going to learn something interesting. Yes. Any guesses from your side what we are going to learn today? Yes? Can anybody tell me? No? Okay, fine. I will tell you. Yes. Today we are going to learn about time. Yes. The name of our next chapter is that is time. Okay? So kids, I know you all love to wear watch. Can you all see what is in my hand? Yes, this is watch. Yes. So you all love to wear this. Very good. But if somebody asks you, what is the time? At that time, you really feel difficult to answer that. Isn't it? Yes. That's why we are going to learn today. Time. Yes. How to tell the time. Okay. So this is going to be very interesting. So be focused. Okay. So let's begin. With Hello everyone. Welcome to our new session. That is session 1 of our new chapter. That is chapter 9. Time. Kids, name of our chapter is time. But before we start our chapter, we need to understand first what is time. We measure time with devices called clocks. The time in hours and minutes shown on a clock to arrange to do something or arrange for something to happen at a particular time. Now kids, let's proceed further. Kids, we use time in different ways in our life. We hear the word time a number of times. We often hear our teachers say it's reading time or it's break time. Yes, kids, in a school you all have heard, yes? That it's a reading time, it's a break time, it's a recess. Yes, very good. At home, we hear our family members talk about TV time and dinner time. Yes, kids, you all are doing your daily routine activities at home, right? You are going to school, you are playing, you are watching TV, you are taking your uh, dinner. Yes, you all have your particular time for that. Okay, so this is what is known as time. Kids, now here is one image. Yes, what you can see over here? Yes, whole family is sitting together and eating. Yes, so you all are eating at night, right? You are all are eating with your whole family? Yes, what is that known as? Yes, it's a dinner time. Very good. Now, here is our next picture. Can you all see what they are doing? Yes, they all are reading. So this is known as reading time. Very good. Now kids, here is one question for you all. And the question is, at what time do you watch your favorite TV show? So kids, this is your homework. I want you all of you to write time over here at what time you are watching your favorite TV show. Is that clear? So kids, this is your homework. You have to write time over here. Okay? So now, let's proceed further. Kids, now our next heading that is types of clock. There are two types of clock. One is analog clock. Yes, here is an image of an analog clock. Kids, analog clock shows us time with hands. Yes. And the next one that is a digital clock. Here is an image of a digital clock. Digital clock shows us time as numbers. You all can see 521 is written. That is a number. Okay, you all understood very well. Isn't it? Yes. So now 
let's move ahead now our next heading that is about clock kids let's understand how to read time on a clock yes it is too interesting so let's start kids clock has numbers and lines on the clock and it is known as the face of the clock kids what else you should know about the clock yes can anyone tell me can you see the numbers on the clock yes yes very good these numbers represents hours very good you will also notice there are tiny lines yes this type of tiny lines tiny lines drawn on the clock do you all know what we call this yes yes this little tiny lines represents minutes very good now kids can you see the little pointers yes arrow shape yes these two little pointers are known as hands yes but these are hands for the clock there are two hands on this clock one is short hand and that is known as hour hand and another one that is a long hand and it is known as minute hand can anyone please tell me that what is the size can you tell me are they of same size no the hands on the clock are not of same size kids i know you all know very well that one hand tells us the hours and other hand tells us the minutes and the hand is pointing in one direction okay kids i think you all understood very well so now let's proceed further kids our next heading is reading time yes a clock has numbers from 1 to 12 children can you all see here here is an image of a clock yes and you can see that here there are numbers and number starts from 1 to that is 12 yes the last number is 12 like right. the long hand is known as the minute hand kids can you all see here yes two hands are given yes very good one is purple in color and one is orange in color so here we are going to talk about long hand okay so long hand that is purple in color kids that is known as minute hand yes very nice the short hand is known as the hour hand kids this is a short hand that is orange in color yes and this is known as the hour hand very good the hour hand moves from one number to the next number yes in this way can you see here that is it moves from 10 to 11 the same way again it will moves from 11 to 12 very nice so this is known as what yes yes it is numbers that is in one hour okay very good now when the hour hand moves from one number to the next number, yes when our hand it moves our hand means which one yes kids yes that is the orange one that is a short hand when it moves from one number to another that is from 7 to 8 or 8 to 9 okay so in this way the minute hand the minute hand completes one round of the clock in this way very nice the minute hand is at 12 kids can you all see over here yes purple one yes that purple one the minute hand that is known as a minute hand and it is at 12 and the hour hand which is known as the short hand also that is at yes 
7. Very good. So, now you kids tell me what is the time over here? Yes. Can you all read it for me? Yes. That is 7 o'clock. Very good. Kids, I know. Now, you all have become smart that you all can read time on a clock. Very good. You all have done a nice job. Now, kids, I want you all of you at home, you have to note down your daily base activities. And in front of that, you have to write time at what particular time you are doing that activity. Okay. So, this is your homework. Till then, bye and thank you.